Asi here. Welcome back on our talk on resolving the conflict or resolving the tension between uh, the soul and the spirit. Today's topic is do I believe in myself or do I believe in God? Do I believe in myself or do I believe in God? All right, so I'm going to use a story to kind of explain that. So on my right hand side is a guy we want to give a name. Let's call him Desmond. So Desmond is a guy who believes in himself but doesn't believe in God. All right. Okay, now next one is going to succeed in life even though he doesn't believe in God, but he believes only in himself. The reason is because when you believe in yourself, because you didn't create yourself, you indirectly believe in the God who created you. Let me say it again. This one is going to succeed because even though he doesn't believe in God, but he believes only in himself, he's still going to succeed in life because he didn't make himself. So if he believes in himself, then he believes in the God who made him. So even though he doesn't know God indirectly, he is giving credit to God that God didn't create somebody inferior. God created somebody who is enough. Just like Apple is happy when the customers believe in their phone. You understand that? So believing in yourself is a prerequisite for life. Do you understand that? You are saying that you are enough. You are saying that God create things that can be believed in. You understand that. So this one is going to succeed in life even though he doesn't believe in God. All right. The next person that we're going to look at is what we is a guy we call John. So this is John. John doesn't believe in himself. John only believes in God. And John, John come across as a very humble and, and spiritual person. But the problem with John is that he's suffering from a problem I call the Joshua Syndrome. The Joshua syndrome goes like this. God told Joshua, Joshua, I am with you just as I was with Moses, but you're still going to fail because you are not bringing your courage to the table. God says, Joshua, I cannot be courageous for you. So if you don't believe in yourself, God can pour himself into you and it will drain away. So anybody that doesn't believe in themselves but believe only in God, you suffer from the Joshua syndrome. God told Joshua, as I was with Moses, I'm with you. But you got to be courageous yourself. You got to believe in yourself. I can't do that for you. You understand that? And lastly, this is Michael. Michael is a guy that believes both in God and himself. And that is what every believer should do. Now, this one is weaker than Michael because Desmond believes in himself, so Desmond can only do things that are humanly possible. If you believe in yourself, you can only do things that are humanly possible. But if you believe in yourself and you believe in God, then all things are possible for you. So, God wants you to believe in Him and also believe in yourself. Paul says, I can do all things through Christ. So you can bring your I can into God. Bring your I can into God. You understand that? So it's okay to believe in yourself and it's even better to believe in God. All right. God bless you.